Hey guys, it's uh, Katie here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a really cool technique and trick using Silhouette Studio um, to essentially what it is is cutting out your photographs in in any shape. Uh, so it's like a print and cut uh, and we have our photographs and our cut lines on the same file and uh, it's pretty awesome. I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, we need to get our page settings correct. I just have it set as printer because this is going to be a print and cut. I also have my registration marks um, on and set up. And uh, we've got our cut lines here. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I have some shapes, some different shapes that we're gonna be using. They need to be spaced out uh, pretty far apart because we're going to be putting a an offset on these shapes and we don't want the offset to run into each other. This is pretty far apart. You could put them closer together, but let me show you what we can do. I'll show you so don't get confused. So we've got our page settings, we've got our registration marks, we've got our cut lines. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to come down here and click on show layers pane. And if you never used layers before, no worries. We're going to, this is like a basic intro to layers. Um, we're going to double click on this layer one here and we're going to name this cut lines. We're also going to click on this minus sign right here just to accordion that up so we don't have to get confused and look at that. Um, I'm also going to be clicking on this plus sign here. Double click on that or we call this photos. We're going to drag the photos layer on top of the cut lines layer. If you've used um, if you used Photoshop or Illustrator, um, basically anything that has layers, Studio is opposite. It's basically backwards. So this photos layer right here is actually shown underneath the cut lines layer, um, which is I don't know. It's confusing, but whatever. Uh, just keep in mind that it is a little bit backwards from Photoshop or Illustrator. So, got our layer set up. We've got our cut lines ready to go. Uh, let's make our um, let's make our oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Our crop lines. There we go. So what we need to do is select all of our cut lines. Click and drag. Good to go. We're gonna come down here onto this bar again. Click on offset, selected shape. And it's going to bring up this offset pane right here. This distance, um, 0 0.125 inches, look, is looking good to me. I'm also going to click on corner instead of rounded, but it's completely up to you. It doesn't honestly matter. And click on apply. So now we have our crop lines. Before you deselect any of these shapes, um, or click off of it, or do anything, we are going to put these shapes onto our photo layer. So right now they're on our cut lines layer. So what we need to do is, it's already selected, don't select, don't click off of it. We're going to go up to edit and cut. You can also do command X. Um, we're going to click on our photos layer and we're going to go up to edit paste and that's going to paste that in place. Again over on this layers panel over here we're going to click the minus sign to, to wrap all that up. Um, I'm also going to click on this box right here for cut lines, which locks the cut lines layer. Let me show you what that does. Um, the lock layer on the cut lines layer, it makes it so that can't be selected or moved around. So if I hide this, I can't select this cut line layer. And that makes it really nice um, later on so we don't accidentally select the cut lines layer. Um, it'll make more sense later, but uh, lock that layer so we're not messing with it. So we've got our we've got our crop lines, we've got our cut lines, now we need to bring in our photos. Um, regardless of where you're getting your photos from, uh, if you want to use some of your Instagram photos or photos off of your phone, um, they need to be in a file saved to your computer. That You can't just pull them from a website, you can't... Uh, yeah, they need to be in a folder. Uh, and if you're a photographer, they're probably already on your computer, so you don't need to worry about that. But here we go. Let's bring in a photo. 
Um, let's see. Let's bring in this guy. So all you need to do is pretty much drag it in. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that works with PC. But we're going to scale this and we're going to position this. I want this to be in the square cut line. Um, so I'm gonna, just going to scale it and fit it in there until I like it. So we've got this photo positioned correctly according to the cut lines. Um, now what we need to do is we need to select the photograph as well as the crop line, which you can't see right now because it's underneath the photo. But you just click and drag and select both of these. Um, now that they're both selected, we need to crop them. So um, we need to go up to, up in this right top hand bar, click on modify. It has an M on it. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click on crop. And that just crops it so it's in a nice tidy square. And the reason why this is a good thing is because um, before the image was so large, it was it was uh, coming onto this page, onto this shape, and it was going off the page. Essentially, it just saves a lot of ink and it makes things more tidy, and you can move things around easier. Uh, yeah. So basically, that's all that you need to do. Uh, you just need to. Uh, make a crop line, crop the photo to it, and then have your cut lines on top of it. And print it out. Uh, remember the registration marks are need to be on there. Uh, put it on your mat, send it to your silhouette, and, uh, and you're good to go. That's basically all that there is to it. Um, I'm going to show you with the rest of these shapes um, how to do it. So you've got it in your brain. Let's do that real quick. Let's get these flowers, drag it on. We're going to select the shape. We're going to scale it down and position it. I want this to be on the circle. I want this to be cut out in a circle. So we're going to do that. We're going to select both the photo and the crop line. And we're going to click on crop. And that'll crop it to the circle and make it nice and tidy. Um, let's do... I want this to be the round banner bunting thing. We're going to scale it. We're going to position it. See how that's going over here? Select both the crop line and the photo. Click on crop. And now it's all nice. And our last one here. It's probably I probably wouldn't cut a lot of these photos out, but whatever. This one I don't think would look good with this, this angular Bunting. We're going to select the crop line, the photo, crop. So there you go. Here's all of our photos um, in, in their crop lines with their cut lines on top. So we just need to print it and cut it and we're good to go. This method works really well with really intricate designs as well. You can, you can use this with any of the designs, pretty much any of the designs in the Silhouette online store. The silhouette design store, excuse me. Like you could do it with like a, with a flower or with like a cool radial circle, anything. And it looks pretty cool. It works out pretty well. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, if I didn't explain anything or if I like rushed over something, comment, email me, tweet me, I don't know, get a hold of me and I'll try and help you out. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, thanks for watching.